previously. Where is it? Who's got the butter? Things are about to change around here. Who's the butter thief? Speak now. It's never too late. Do you know who I think it is? The next day. And you'll never guess what I just found in my backpack. What? what? The, the butter. Have you seen any rumors? There's a rumor going round. All the rumors are true, yeah. Rumor though now. Um, the morning kicks off with Deb waking up early in the morning for a morning cold plunge. Get up and I go down, I have a lovely cold dip in Badger's bath. After a nice peaceful yoga session, more like fluid dancing, I'm calling it dancing even though it's not, she did this kind of dancing. <laughs> Now Adam wasn't a fan of Deb's morning routine and neither was Nathan. However, Dom, Liz and Aisha, they subscribed to the madness. Shut up. Time to get up. And just when you think it cannot get any worse, Dico dances for the boys. After the morning shenanigans, the celebrities were still not happy as no campmate has owned up to stealing the butter so Kuru Court was in session and it was led by Judge Nathan with the witnesses being grilled by Aisha the prosecutor. However, tables were turned when the prosecutor Aisha was put, let's rather say, place on stand. Are you a vegan? Yes. Do vegans eat butter? No. No, maybe. You did eat a bit of broth last night though, I watched Yeah, I'm not being vegan in here or a dog. I would never, ever, 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 ever. Oh. I think, well, you know, sometimes judges and jury are corrupt oh. and I think that's just one of these cases. Who's going to jail? Then later, Nick, Adam and Liz took to the trial, read it and weep food trial at an attempt to earn 11 stars for their fellow celebrities. Now the three celebrities had to choose a book from the bookshelf and devour the dish which was inspired by the title. Nick chose to kill a rotting bird so he had to eat skinny fowl hearts in slime. Now that was an amazing effort by Nick and he had earned himself one star. Next was Liz and she chose Lord of the Eyes so she had to consume Eternal of Eyes for a single star. It smells like Bigfoot's dick. <laughs> Who knew my muff smelled of lavender but it's really <laughs> nice and that's 11 99 and uh, <laughs> I know. It's unique. <laughs> Liz was victorious, next up was Adam, he chose Charlotte's Web for his one star round and he had to consume a pig snout and he earned himself one star for successfully eating that snout. Alright celebrities, we have actually reserved some very special titles for you in our two star section. For the two star round, Nick chose War and Piss so he had to down cow piss and Liz, she chose the great rat spee so she had to eat a deep fried rat tail and after breaking the tail into manageable pieces, Liz struggled but she was able to claim victory. <laughs> My favourite. Moby's dick. <laughs> well, and I had to consume a zebras. P E M A. Just like Liz, Adam struggled. I just want this to be over so badly. A few moments later. And he's hit it. Oh. Oh. Although the trio had managed to score themselves nine points to earn the remaining two stars from the book title Spare Parts, the celebrities had to share a meaty cocktail of Springbok tongue, chicken intestines, and impala lung. Nick didn't seem to struggle with the cocktail, however Liz and Adam were struggling but they both persevered and the threesome will be returning to camp with 11 stars. Back at camp, the celebrities were planning to prank Deb, however their prank failed miserably, it was an epic fail. Oh I see. As Deb caught on very quickly and she was amused by the efforts while the campers put on a show, Deb pretended to be disinterested, the others were concerned and eventually they caved in and gave up. Meanwhile, Deb was like... Was there, was there any point there where you were concerned? No. We wanted you to care about us. Yeah, well I do care about you. I could cry. Deb! Two hours later. Dick 
Draco was having a deep and meaningful conversation with Harry and Nick where he realized he had emotionally and sometimes physically abandoned his kids and family while he was chasing the bag. The one thing I would change is I would not have been such an absent father chasing this career. Now this is a cool mentoring moment as Nick seemed to learn from Dicko's mistake and later Later The celebrities received their mystery dinner bag of Springbok loin Ooh. Much nicer than Springbok tongue Absolutely Baby corn no. Spinach and sweet potatoes And for the vegetarians they will have cottage cheese And for dessert all the celebrities will be having watermelon Watermelon And the extra ingredient want by Liz, Adam and Nick is A few moments later Dicko had a little run in with Nathan regarding his sweet potato chopping skills Careful man He's like, careful I was like, I'm sorry, I'm 32, I know how to chop sweet potato And then later Dicko had another run in with Dom And if you've watched maps then you know that Dom doesn't back down from any fight Dicko and Dom went over to fight over his preparation of the springbok loin I don't think Dom's got a problem giving it to people I just think there's a lot of people in this camp who are not prepared to give it back. I am. Two hours later. Once the dust had settled, Beat and Aisha gave their fellow campmates a performance and Nick, he wasn't a fan, neither was Nathan because he feared that this could be a repeatable performance. On the other hand, Deb, she loved it, not sure why. I think Deb is tone deaf or out of touch or she's just being a mom because this was horrible. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's um, that, that's just an opinion. Next. Oh no, this is a hard one. I do think he'd rather meet his partner of his dreams than win a gold medal. In a game of would you rather, the celebrities got it right with Harry as he chose to be with his dream partner over winning a gold medal. However, the celebs got it wrong with Nick. Dicko's choice of celebrity was guessed correctly and Deb's rated R scene with her husband versus her idol was guessed incorrectly. In what universe would anyone buy a, a storyline with Chris Hemsworth making this universe? I mean, hello. Peter would rather give up a Collingwood game than give up comedy, his passion. Later, Chris Brown and Julia joined the celebrities at camp to announce the next elimination. It was between Adam, Dico and Peter and Dico was eliminated. I've loved it. It's time to go. Oh. And, uh... It's been really, really special. A deep down, you know, Dom was like, <laughs> bye bye. I kid, I'm joking, or am I? Anywho, Dicko left camp and he became the third celebrity to be voted out. Now, Dicko believed that Liz will win the show, and I guess we will have to wait and see. Now, for the next challenge, Slash trial, a Dicko chose Harry to participate in it. Well, that is exciting. Oh Tomorrow, gosh. Harry will find himself underground and under pressure in the only way is up. That is Yikes. exciting. Hey, you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.